Welcome back. Trip Live Radio here. Justin LaBar with you on this Friday afternoon. You know, normally you'd hear me, it'd be pro wrestling time or it'd be an Ike Taylor show, and I have someone and, and, and a task that is far, far greater than that, and uh, I am, I'm looking forward to You know, most people on radio, they don't believe you. If you say, oh, I'm having a, a busy day or a bad day or whatever, you know, you try to get sympathy, but the moment you tell them that 2011 Penthouse Pet <laughs> And blonde bombshell Nikki Benz is coming to the studio. All sympathy out the yeah. door. How are you? I'm good. How are, how are you? Good, good. I'm very happy to have you here. Nikki Benz at Blush this weekend. Uh, tonight, two shows. Tomorrow on Saturday, two shows. Yeah. Um, you've already had some shows already this week. How's it been going so far? Um, really good. I uh, did a show last night, which went freaking awesome. I um, had a brand new outfit designed, uh, custom-made suit. I was a gangster, and uh, the show went great until I broke my nail. And, you know, people don't realize, but you actually really do get hurt on stage sometimes. I come off with bruises on me, which I don't know how I get them. <laughs> uh, but uh, my nail just popped off from my nail bed. It hurts really bad. So I'm going to go get, get fixed right after here. So, you, so you're not. So there's no game time decision. You're good to go tonight. You're going to be good. Yeah. Yes. You can see, of course, uh, <laughs> the, the official uh, Trip Live Radio YouTube account will have the video up later uh, with Nikki. And not only can you see what she is wearing, you can also see the uh, the injury. What am I wearing though? She is wearing. Let me see. Let me see all my fashion terminology. Okay. She's got. I want to go from bottom up, but we'll save the okay. best for last. We have. Uh, we have nice black boots, kind of a. Catwoman like and look like they can beat the hell out of somebody. Ankle boots, yeah. Ankle boots, yeah. okay. Going up with the black leggings. Uh huh. And then we have like a a very fall kind of purple uh, purple. What is? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a dress. Uh, well, is that a dress? Yeah, it's okay. A dress. <laughs> it's a dress. It zips up at the top. And then yeah. we got the and we got the, the jacket. It's a it's a dress um, that obviously is very um, flattering to the cleavage. If you have some cleavage. I was going to say that that's a, that, that's a dress beyond. <laughs> beyond my recognition of dresses so i wasn't sure <laughs> not the normal dress that i would see <laughs> nikki benz follow her on twitter at nikki benz and uh you, you mentioned the the gangster outfit for blush i'm obviously guessing the benz mafia theme uh -huh. plays along there Wh where did that come from i feel i've seen it for a while following you on twitter for a while i've always seen the benz mafia it, i but i don't know did it just is there some story behind it or is it just a no promotional actually thing, what happened Back when MySpace was popular, um, wow. <laughs> I know, right? You're the first person on the station ever to ever utter the words MySpace. MySpace, seriously. MySpace. But back when it was popular, I don't know, um, like what, like eight years ago, um, there was a forum and my fans had a topic about me and they decided to call themselves Ben's Mafia. Okay. There and so they're fans of Nikki Benz, they're Benz Mafia. And then Browsers took that and uh, named the brand new scenes that I have out called The Benz Mafia. And they did a three-part series. Smart marketing. Yeah. Smart marketing. And that's something actually, uh, I want to obviously, we'll get back to, um, we'll get back to Browsers and, and the entire adult film career in a second. That's something I think is always amazing with you. And I'm not just doing cheap flirtatious compliments as I'm sitting here but then you know, why are you rubbing my leg well hey under the table hey, hey, no hey, I'm kidding I'm hey, kidding hey, he's hey. not <laughs> is you very similar yeah, she's throwing all those I mean you very similar to uh, Lisa Ann another guest is you two obviously wildly successful in the porn industry but you guys have done an, an incredible job of branching out into the mainstream absolutely and I think that's the way to do it um you know I knew when I got into the adult industry I was in it for the long haul I wasn't in it for the money. I was in it for sort of like the whole package, right. you know, getting recognized, the money, the travel. And I knew that I've always wanted to branch out, not sort of like throw all my eggs in one basket. And I've been lucky, you know, um, Penthouse definitely helped me a lot. When I became pet of the year, I got a lot of mainstream recognition for that. Um, Fox Sports was another. I was That's, with them yeah. for three years. Um, you know, that was incredible. Um, I just, uh, in May, I made a cameo in a Michael Bay movie called Pain and Gain with uh, Mark Wahlberg and the Rock. So hopefully they're not going to cut out that footage and I'll actually be left in the movie. But I just played a feature dancer, basically myself. I was on stage at a strip club dancing. And you haven't, did I see on your Twitter correctly, you have another trailer you just put yeah, out? Yeah, another trailer to my, my, my trip back to the dark side. Um, I also play um, not a feature dancer, but just a regular stripper. Oh, the typecasting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I swear, you guys, I can do other stuff. Blonde, big boobs, and they got to cash as a stripper. <laughs> All right, but you know what? But I've just been lucky and I, I don't really look for it. It just kind of finds me. That's People just say, hey, you want to do this? And I'll say yes or no, depending on my schedule. It's good to be in demand. 
It's good, yeah. Good to be in the man. Uh, again, talking to Nikki uh, Benz at Blush tonight and tomorrow, 9th Street downtown. Make sure you go by, check out, check out the, uh, if she's doing it again, the, the mobster uh, outfit. Oh, I'm going to do it again. All right, yeah. check out the mobster outfit. How did you break in to porn? That's um... You know, okay, so I was nine, I was 20 something, 21 almost, and my then boyfriend was a huge Jenna Jameson fan. I, I think like he could definitely influence me, and then um, so he introduced me to Jenna, and I looked her up, and I thought she was super hot, smart, and I said, wow, she's actually making money and getting recognized for having sex, which I love. I'm like, let me try it. So I just sent in my bikini modeling picture to an adult film director, which I found through Googling his name. Or like, just, I Googled literally adult film director. He was the first one that popped up. I'm like, I'll just take my chance. Email him a picture. Literally two weeks later, I was flown out to Florida, and I filmed my first girl-girl scene. And the owner of the company was there. And it was a Pleasure Productions. They no longer exist. But uh, the owner was there, and he looked at me, looked at my performance, and he said, do you want a contract? And I'm like, yeah. So your first, if I call that right, so your first scene ever you did was a girl on girl. Yeah, yeah. And had you ever done that before, like, in your personal life? Or was that? Um, I fooled around. I messed around. Okay. Um, I was curious how, if that was completely new territory. <laughs> yeah, or you were, yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> did, did you need did a map of what you were doing? Or what was <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, I have one, too, so well, I kind of knew what's going on. But I, didn't, I didn't mean literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey. Um, no, but, um, you know, I didn't, I, I don't know. I wasn't nervous. I was just really eager to do it, and I, I really, at that moment, I was like, wow, I really love doing this. So and I knew I wanted to be a porn star. And now, I mean, I don't know how many years it's been now. Nine years. Nine years. Does it, I'm obviously, you still enjoy it because you're still doing it. I, I love it even more now. Does it, now, does it, having... I mean, getting paid to have sex on on the big screen is that if does it help or hurt on personal life? Um, I've you know I don't know I've never had a, an issue with guys. They've always accepted it, but I've always been in like a different situation. Like for example, with my penthouse contract, I was with them for eighteen months, and so I wasn't shooting adult movies. I was more of a sports spokesmodel. Okay. And then during that time, I was dating a guy who's in the music industry, so he totally thought it was cool to date penthouse pet of the year and. You know, we were great, and then, anyway, we broke up, I'm single now, I don't know, I've, what, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, even when I was shooting movies or not shooting movies, the guys never really had an issue with it. Yeah. But then again, I, I know that, like, seriously, personally, I always put my career first, and I always let the guy know that. And sure. eventually, well, they'll have an issue with it. Well, and I, <laughs> I guess maybe not even so much with whether you're, whether you're in a relationship or single, I guess it also comes down to, like, I don't know. Sex doesn't get old, obviously, for you. You still enjoy it. I love sex. That's good. I love sex. That's good. And, of course, Nikki, I, I forgot to mention this uh, uh, earlier, NikkiBenz.com, mm -hmm. the, My offi website, the official yeah. website. And you, there's the premium section for uh, videos and photos mm -hmm. for the members. And yep. uh, you do uh, you do live, you do in, uh, personal shows as well, don't you? Yeah, I just started doing it uh, recently. Um, I have joined the Vicky, uh, Vicky Vet Nation Army, her network. And then um, so now I'm doing live shows, one hour um I'm trying to do it weekly, but with my schedule, it's a little difficult. But the members really enjoy it. Like, I feel like it's fun. Like, I get to talk to my fans, and, you know, if they're lucky, I'll take off my top. <laughs> I'm kidding. If they're lucky. My top usually always comes off, like, within five minutes. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, if, if we have to convince to take the top I off, know, and that's know. a... No, it's, I, I have a hard time keeping it on. <laughs> no, I, I truly... Hence, I <laughs> hence the zip on the quote-unquote dress. Well, you know, it is a dress. I mean, it's sort of like, it looks like a sweater, but it's a dress. That's what I, and that's what I was trying to go for earlier. Yeah. I was trying to say sweater, but I was like, it's too long. It's too long. It's, it's just, you know, it's different. But I truly do enjoy what I, what I do, and I love entertaining, and I view myself as an entertainer because I don't only do movies I feature dance I do mainstream I entertain so what's going on what uh, obviously again you know blushed uh, tonight and tomorrow but beyond that or for anybody's listening is not in Pittsburgh what's uh, what else you, any big projects coming up uh, um just a lot of shoots coming up for companies like Bang Bros, Naughty America, Brazzers again. Um, I just found out I'm going to host a party um, in Baltimore for uh, New Year's Eve. Nice. Um, next year, you know, with uh, just a lot of big projects are going to actually get released next year. So I'm really looking forward to 2013 because I'll actually, like, all my hard work I did this year is going to, like, right. yeah, so I'm looking forward.